have you know that before I took the coat, I was supposed to be developing my own picture. What troubles you? These airships are the pack's crowning achievement, a combination of Asura, Char, and human technology. The pack developed these airships so that we might fight Zaitan from every possible angle, land, sea, and now air. Let's chat. Commander, may I present Professor Gore, who pioneered the theory of elder dragons consuming magic, and scholar Vivian, a top expert on the Risen. We're going to send a small etheric charge through the eye of Zaitan's corpse to try and project what it's seen. The goal is to witness what it saw right before we killed it. And since Orion magic is so unpredictable, you're here to keep things under control. Ah, but unpredictability yields unexpected results. That's not always a bad thing. In fact, that's how most new discoveries are made. True, but most new discoveries don't bring the wrath of Zaitan down on their discoverers. Manipulating the dead eye may do precisely that. We don't know what manipulating the dead eye will do. That's why we're not in Fort Trinity and why the commander's with us. Let's begin. The subject is nearly ready to receive the etheric infusion, Marshal. Aetheric readings, normal. Ready to begin testing. Excellent. Activate the aetheric infuser on my mark. Three, two, one, activate. All readings are within acceptable parameters. Subject is stable, it's working. Confirmed. The projector beam is now ready for firing. Commander, if you'll do the honors. The apparatus is functioning. How will we know when we have usable results? We should see something any moment now. Look! There! There's our result! It's working. We're seeing the last sights the eye saw before it died. Soldiers! Where are they marching to, and why? Is that some kind of undead servant? What's it carrying? Hmm. Looks like a scout of some kind. <laughs> Filthy looking creature. just consumed a powerful magical artifact. I saw it, Professor. Your theory is now a confirmed fact. But what was that creature? Let's finish testing before we interpret our results. Marshal Traherne! Look there, another eye. What does it mean? I'm not sure. Commander, to the front. Something's not right. That roar and that other eye, it looked at us, through us. And Zaitan must see what it sees. We're not done yet, nor are we out of danger. Commander, to me. Moving on.
Now to strip away the veil that hides Zaitan's minions. Stand ready. There's no way to know how many we'll face, but we cannot risk taking any along with us. Well, drop my gears and kiss my Asterian Chemites goodbye. It doesn't We're not through yet. Stand fast. I sense no more of the Risen. I think we're clear. Our findings deserve serious scrutiny, but I'd like to hear your initial reactions. I think we now have conclusive proof that the dragon sees through these eyes. The readings, the ebb and flow of magical energy, it all fits. If these eyes are how Zaitan sees, maybe that all-mouth creature is how Zaitan eats. I concur. Zaitan's agents serve as extensions of its body, acting on its will. The eyes survey, the mouth consumes. That answers many questions raised by my theory, actually. Now we know how the dragon hunts and eats. That's progress. We can't let up. If killing the eye partially blinded Zaitan, then killing the mouth should deprive it of sustenance. Pack scouts have traced one of the mouths to its lair. I want you to head out there and ensure that Zaitan starts going hungry. I'm pleased you're here. Another step complete. 